Hi, Kamal. Welcome to the Business Standard Banking Show. Uh, this is a BFSI Insight Summit special uh, episode, uh, which you uh, uh, took part in as well earlier this week. So first of all, I want to ask you, the main attraction, obviously, uh, once again, was uh, the chat you had with uh, RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das. And uh, he has been very candid in talking about macroeconomic issues. And I wanted to get your view on one of the very important points he made, that inflation will be priority over growth. What is the governor uh, hinting at? No, no, I think that's a stated stance. It's not new. In fact, he repeated it twice uh, or thrice, I think. So in order of priority, inflation, managing inflation, and then and then come. So now you see this, this is a classic dilemma before every RBI governor. What's come first? Uh, but essentially the approach which the Reserve Bank of India governor has traditionally been taken is this. If you have a sustained low inflation, that will ensure growth. So, and if you chase growth by itself, then you uh, get into the trap of inflation going up. So, I think this is that this is um, been re-emphasized, uh, not explaining in this way, but this is what governor meant: is this we need to have a uh, uh, inflation at a lower level and that at a sustainable or what you call it the durable uh, low inflation uh, for a for a for a longer time. Uh, which is why even a year back, you know, many of the analysts and all, uh, they are thinking in terms of having India, had India shifted um, its inflation targeting to 6%, which is the upper band. Now, governor has reminded us and repeatedly reminding us actually is that no, it's not 6 it's 4%, because it's actually inflation target is 4% plus minus 2 percentage point on both sides. But he is insisting on 4%. And so that's very clear. Inflation is the top priority. And as I said, always the underlying meaning is this, if we can contain inflation, and if we have, if we can have low inflation, in India's case, 4% on a sustainable basis, then growth automatically um, comes. So let's- In fact, you said that uh, the Q2 GDP numbers are likely to surprise us uh, on the upside. Uh, the yes. one of the other points I wanted to uh, talk about was the crypto issue. Uh, there is so much interest in uh, this uh, crypto assets issue and it was raised so it was some, one of the big agenda items of our G20 summit as well. And he has sort of said it is dealing with, with crypto and regulating crypto is different. He said we don't know what crypto is. We don't know how to define it. So what do you think uh, is going to happen uh, with crypto assets? I mean, his position has been very clear. But how do you read his statement? You know, it's uh, again a stated statesman and he is uh, insisting on the same thing that, look, I mean, <laughs> he did not say it, but I'm just saying crypto over my dead body. Uh, that's kind of thing. If you see that at one point of time, there's a finance ministry where they're, they're discussing there's some law to come before that. There's a committee set up to look into crypto. Uh, that committee report has not been made public even as we speak. Uh, but the RBI governor, and this is incidentally at one of the BFSI summit that's on, on wave during the COVID time in 2021, uh, governor for the first time emphatically had said no to crypto. And since then, there is no change whatsoever. So that, that what he is in, what he is hint, what he is explaining is this, what is crypto? He doesn't know. Is it an asset? What kind of asset is this? Is it a currency? I mean, how can you have a parallel currency which will which will run uh, uh, along with the fiat currency, which is uh, our currency um, issued by Reserve Bank of India? Uh, the statement assumes significant Tamal because of the uh, IMF FSB paper, which the G20 leadership has endorsed, which is saying that you cannot ban this it's not uh, possible to ban you have to have some some regulation in place which is which is what um, uh, the governor used the word dealing he said i mean you know it's uh, it, it's not why not going to regulate it with a deal with it so That's semantics uh, what do you mean uh, the meaning is probably no we'll not let it happen we'll deal with it but, uh, eventually and he said also the IMF paper does not talk about that you have to make it legal, etc. So we need to see and we need to deal. So we will have a kind of regulation. We'll we'll make it impossible to have uh, legally, uh, you know, uh, indulging with the uh, or, or managing crypto assets. So it's as good as as good as that. Uh, RBI firm no to crypto and rightly rightly so because it's neither an asset nor a currency.
Now, uh, another important interaction was uh, with uh, uh, Mr. Kamad, uh, former, uh, uh, former ICICI bank. Now, uh, he has said that banks have never had it uh, so good. But you have also stated some reservations in our previous interactions. One of the reservations, for instance, is the retail loans could be a cause of concern. So what is the catch there? Is it all that Haki Dori, as Mr. Kamath has put it? You see, it's, 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 yeah, Mr. Kamath insisted that. In fact, he has been saying that the banking system held the best in past 50 years. Uh, he is saying that banks are well capitalized, banks, uh, um, banks, uh, our credit is growing, and also at the same time, banks' uh, bad assets are pretty low. Uh, not historic, historical low, but it, it's a pretty low. It's, it's, so, and they have understood the uh, problem, so they are very cautious. So every banker has said that. At the same time, yes, there are certain issues. So I think as far as retail and unsecured loans are concerned, um, none of them actually said that we are stressed or we are seeing fresh slippages, but they dropped hints. And Mr. Kamath also said that you need to uh, be careful about uh, the, this kind of assets creation and uh, uh, the banks should uh, be able to you know, have the right kind of uh, risk management and underwriting capability, etc. Mr. Kamath also um, mentioned a very important point, which is not exactly new, but he has re-emphasized that, you know, post-COVID, when there was a committee um, constituted by Visa Bank of India to look into how much, um, how much loans need to be restructured, and Mr. Kamath headed that committee. Now, the committee's assessment was as much as 9 trillion, 9 lakh crore worth of assets probably would need restructuring. But actually, we, we ended up restructuring only 45,000 crore. So you can imagine uh, that thing. So that's what he's saying, that it's a very pleasant surprise and the banks are pretty healthy. Uh, we don't need to bother. This cycle will continue. And it was re-emphasized by both public and uh, private sector banks. Uh, they do admit that, yes, there could be certain issues and all, but at the same time, they are saying that we are capable of managing the show. Some very important statements being made uh, at the BFSI Insight Summit, uh, Tamal. And thank you so much for bringing us the, uh, you know, between the lines perspective to what all these important people have said. Uh, always a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Ruchika. Thank you. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.